They forgot how powerful God is. I mean, if you just watch or read the news, it's everywhere. The believers are now perceived as the bad guys. The Bible that we base our whole life in, our faith, is now perceived as fairy tales. But you can be sure that the day of judgment will come. And in that day, no nation will be able to escape. I mean, the war is happening right now. Coronavirus, wildfires, floods. All that happening in the world right now is a sample of it. Right? Matthew 24 talk about this as birth pains. More to come. And speaking of flood, this read name on one eight. In name on one eight, it says, But with an overwhelming flood, he will make an end. Of Nineveh, he will pursue his foes with the realm of darkness. And read the first one again. But with an overwhelming flood, he will make an end of the enemy. I'm actually going to read to you a commentary on Nahum. This is from where's where's these expository outlines on the Old Testament? Here it says, first we said, in verse 8 to 13, Nahum describes the fall of the city with two pictures. A great flood of waters that sweeps everything away, and a fire of dry thorns that burns like stone. It is interesting to know that Nineveh did fall because of the flood of waters. That's exactly what Nahum said, okay? The Medes and the Babylonians besieged the city for many months and made little headway. Then the rainy season came, and the two rivers next to Nineveh began to rise. One historian says that the Medes broke one of the dams of the river, but in any case, the swelling waters beat against the thick walls of Nineveh and broke them down. The city was literally destroyed by the flood. God does not need armies. He can use tiny raindrops. Amazing. That's how powerful our God is. So let's not test the Lord's anger. He is fair and punishes sin. Can I actually call the worship team as I go to our conclusion? Church, which group do you belong? Those who seek refuge in God, and those who fight against Him. There's only two groups. Can be in defense. We choose. Do we seek refuge in God, or do we fight against Him? But remember, fighting God is futile. He can never win. And remember, God is just and deals with sin accordingly. I stand before you here today to say that we shouldn't take the Lord's patience for granted. So that when we do sometimes, just take it for granted. Well, I'm just a forgiving God. I can do whatever I want. Imagine me for a second. However you want to imagine, sometimes you can close our eyes or we look up. Just make sure you can imagine this. Imagine a pot of water. Okay, a pot of water filled to the brim. Okay, put them on. And it's boiling. There's actually different stages of heat in that boiling water. See, that's God's patience. 
Do you actually wait till the war is over? 